I would like to provide an update on the government's plans for gynaecology and maternal health services in the Midlands. I know that my colleague, Minister Donnelly, and his department are currently working with the HSE's National Women and Infants Health Programme to increase capacity and reduce waiting lists for women awaiting general gynaecology through the implementation of the ambulatory gynaecological model of care. This is a very positive development, and I'm looking forward to seeing this model implemented on the ground in the Midlands. But firstly, what is an ambulatory gynaecological or gynaecology model of care? Essentially, it's a one-stop, see-and-treat, ambulatory gynaecological clinic. This model of care is a more efficient and effective use of resources than the traditional outpatient model. An estimated 70% of general gynaecology referrals are suitable for management in the ambulatory setting. And so I welcome the introduction of ambulatory clinics in the Midlands and elsewhere, which will deliver a number of outcomes. They will improve access to gynaecology services, reduce the requirement for multiple gynaecology appointments, ensure sustainability of service provision into the future, given the very significant waiting lists for this speciality, and importantly, help improve clinical outcomes. Investigations available include pelvic ultrasound, diagnostic hysteroscopy, and endometrial biopsy. Nine of these clinics are now operational across the country. Nina in town to Tipperary recently opened a regional hub for women's health, which includes a specialist menopause clinic. And this is the first ambulatory gynaecology clinic to be operational for women in the Midlands counties. I am conscious, however, that Nina is a considerable distance from many, of the, for many in the rest of the Midlands. Even from my own home in North Offaly, it is over an hour by car to Nina. So I was therefore delighted to hear that work is already underway on the recruitment, refurbishment and equip equipping of an ambulatory gynaecology clinic in Port Leash, which is expected to be operational later this year. Budget 2022 funding will also facilitate the establishment of further ambulatory gynaecology clinics, including one in Mullingar and Kilkenny, thereby completing the implementation of the ambulatory gynaecology model of care, bring, and will bring the total number of these clinics to 20 nationally. These clinics will be associated with each of the 19 maternity hospitals across the country, as well as Tala University Hospital. In relation to maternity services in the Midlands, in 2021, funding of 223,000 and almost 400,000 was provided to Midland Regional Hospitals Mullingar and Port Leash, respectively, for the recruitment of additional staff into maternity services at the hospitals. This included five clinical midwifery managers for both hospital and community-based services, a medical social worker, healthcare assistants in Port Leash, and an assistant director of midwifery in Mullingar. The above developments are already contributing and will continue to contribute to greatly improved access to and quality of care for women who need to avail of these services. And I look forward to hearing from Midlands women about their experiences of these services on the ground over the coming months and years. Thank you.